I've actually picked up the old spin rod again. It's been a while since we filmed anything. We've been, um, well, Charlotte's been on holidays back to Queensland to see her family. And you know, wisdom, she took the uh, all the memory cards with her, so I didn't have a camera to use. Plus, we had to send a GoPro off for a few repairs. So uh, it's been a good few weeks. Um, season is is over, except for obviously the main lakes and the and the, the lakes on the Rainbow Trout season, which is a little bit longer. So I come in here today to have a bit of a crack. I have probably got a few hours. Um, it's a fairly nice day. It was supposed to be. It was supposed to be shit house. It was supposed to be raining, but yeah, it's pretty protected in here. So I've actually picked up the old spin rod again. So um, I've been been wanting to do this for a while, and I've just been caught up in in fishing with fly and having way too much fun. But yeah, I wanted to just go back to what I know, and run around with the spin rod, um, flick it around a bit. So as you guys would know, Rapala is my favourite uh, trout lure. Uh, Rapala divers, X traps, originals, whatever. So it's pretty well probably all I'm going to use today. What I've got on at the moment. That there, when she focuses, there we go. So that's a Rapala countdown, um, just in sort of a rainbow trout pattern. Um, so I've got a couple variations of that, just different colours. The countdown sink, about a foot per second. So it lets you sort of cover the water. Um, but yeah, essentially I'm just going to run up this bank behind me here. It's sort of shallow here, a bit of a drop off up there. Uh, the goal is, is rainbows. I want to yeah, catch a couple good rainbows, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it and see what's going on. It's just uh, the little spin rods, just four pound uh, braid, and I've got 10 pound fluorocarbon on there. So it's usually fine for every trout that I've caught on spin. So it should be fine for today. Uh, yeah, let's get into it and hopefully I can show you a few fish. <coughs> right, oh. First cast. I can see it's, yeah, it's really shallow here. So I'm probably just going to work this lure as quick as I can sort of thing because obviously being a sinking lure it'll it'll sink as well. I think this is gonna be quite snaggy too. So yeah I was really hoping for a bit more of a drop off. That's where I'm tipping that the rainbows will be. That's right, we'll work our way up. I'm just gonna work pretty quick, cover as much water as possible. It's gonna stay shallow like this. I might put a floating lure on just so I've got a little bit more time. So this time of year, the um, the brown trout are well and truly up the creek spawning. Not to say that they're not still in the lake. Obviously, this lake has got millions of fish. I don't think that's an understatement. Um, but the rainbows, they spawn a little bit later, so... So they'll still be out running around chasing bait and whatnot. The way I'm sort of hoping to encounter the rainbows is on the edge of the drop-offs and that, where they'll, they'll sort of herd in and, and feed on the galaxia and small fish in that so that's kind of what the plan is for the day um, but in saying that the from what I hear the browns that don't um, spawn they sort of they still tend to congregate around the creeks which I think there's a creek just up here as well, so. 
hopefully we'll be in a chance of something. It's getting a little bit deeper here, that's good. I'll persist with this lure a little bit longer, but I won't give it too long and then I'll change, change colour or even just change the floating so I can do a different sort of retrieve. Like I say, there's that many fish. I don't think you have to cast for too long before you can guarantee your lure has been seen. Also, I got a new pair of hiking boots. Some other ones shit themselves. I'll show you them in a sec. It's um, Lauer Renegades what they are, GTX, Gore-Tex, all the, all the good shit and yeah I've worn them in pretty well and yeah so far they're an absolute legend of a shoe, I highly recommend. This is sort of the, the terrain I was hoping for. A um, little bit deeper, bigger, bigger rocks. It was swimming a bit funny. So I just noticed that lure was just swimming. It was a bit sort of rolling on its side to my right looking at it. So I just bent that eyelet just to my left looking at it. It's just straighten it up and swim straight. And being these, like I say, the countdown model from Rapala, it um yeah, it sinks about a foot per second, so out here I'm just sort of judging that's, you know, a metre deep out here, probably two or three out where I'm casting, so I'm letting it go down about sort of five or six seconds. Um, sort of about the middle of the water column there, so. All right, so I've just changed. Um, exactly the same lure, just the brown trout colour. As we know, trout can be pretty fussy in colours and everything. But I think what this today is going to be, being that it's winter and cold and it was snowing yesterday, is just yeah, covering ground until I find them. Nice big deep hole just there. It's a bit weird. It'll just be a bit of a cliff in the rock or something. It's shallow all around it. Fishing this more like a soft plastic now, just can't tell if it's on the bottom. I don't quite want it to hit the bottom because it'll be pretty snaggy, but it's the beauty of these countdown lures. I mean, if I was on the boat, I'd know exactly how deep it is and I could time it properly, but I reckon it'll be, it'll be five to ten out there, I reckon.
So I've just put a floating version of it on. Just in the rainbow trout again. I didn't have any of the those other brown trout colours. I quite like them, the dark gold to me. Anyway, because it looks fairly, well it is fairly shallow through here. So I'll roll this, fish this pretty quickly. Lots of timber and shit, so I haven't seen a fish move, but it's to be expected this time of year. How good's that? I'll get him back in the water. There you go. Oh, that's good. There's one on the board. So, um, yeah, it took a little while, but yeah, like it's a floating lure in this little sort of shallow bay. Like I say, I was hoping for rainbows, but yeah, this is sort of textbook, uh, textbook ground country. So, anyway, we'll have another crack soon again. Oh. two fish and just a few casts. So I'll have a couple more here and then we'll, we'll keep moving on but yeah there's a few out there for sure. Small this guy. Still. Just a little guy. Well, that was pretty cool. I had a few more casts there in that spot and didn't manage to get any fish. But um, yeah, what, what's going on there? They're obviously holed up, getting ready to, to run to spawn. So <clears throat> I'm just coming up to this creek now. So in this in this lake, you can't fish within 50 meters. Um, so I was just, you know, just in sort of the little bay beyond that. 
Um, but yeah, you know, just goes to show. Obviously, they don't let your fish in the creeks and right up to them because you know you're disturbing the fish that are spawning. So um, respect the rules, but yeah, you can still you can still get the fish by fishing within your limits, I suppose. Which is yeah, sort of just just outside that that area. So just give you a bit of an update of what's going on in the world. We're um, we're actually going to be in Tassie for. A little bit longer so we've pushed the boat back again yeah some pretty cool things coming there's a good reason a very good reason why we've done it this time if you follow us on instagram you, you'll already be all over it if not and you want to um, spoil the surprise i suppose jump on over there and have a look um, but yeah we've got some cool things coming very cool things in the pipeline so another few weeks here in tassie and then we're back to the mainland and heading north in search of uh in search of barra so well, and warm weather and all the good things that come with, with the tropical north. So stay tuned for all that. Um, but the good good news is it means we can muck around and chase a few trout for a little bit longer. So obviously the, the season's not right at all, but as you just saw, you can still catch a few fish. So anyway, stay tuned, cool things are coming. Alrighty guys, that'll do us for today. It's a pretty good little session there in the end. Bit of walking, three fish sort of bang after the other, but um, yeah, it was kind of like I thought. Just had to just had to find where they were, and obviously this time of year they um, they're getting ready to spawn. So um, yeah, they were held up in that little channel, and I managed to get a few. So lure that did it was the just the Rapala floating original. Um, that's it there. Let me get him. That was him there. Classic little lure. Um, thing I love about Rapala is the super solid hooks they come with, so just stand it out of the box. I got them big uh, VMC hooks, I think they are. Just really strong, you know, a lot of lures just come with average undersized hooks that, that straighten and whatnot, so. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. It's good to pick up the spinning rod again, have a bit of a crack. Anyway, that'll do us. I'm gonna go grab a beer, maybe throw the fly rod around a little bit, just cause, hey, I love it, and there's not a, not a great deal more time I suppose that we have in Tassie but um stay tuned yeah like I say we've got some cool things coming make sure you subscribe I don't usually spam that but it'd be good if you did so anyway thanks for watching see you on the next one